Well, hello there, Guardians. My name is Pwn, being thrown in a game that has already started. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Hard Light Exotic Auto Rifle that shoots blue pew pews. It's so cool. It sounds cool. It looks cool. It shoots cool bullets. Why not? Now, unfortunately, Zer is yet to sell this weapon by the time you are watching this video. Maybe he has, but as far as I know, this thing is bad. Yes. Um, I feel that it's 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 a love and hate relationship with this weapon. It's it's useful in very few situations, and valuable in very few as well. It's kind of you know you're either gonna love the weapon or you're absolutely gonna think it's horrible and trash and just basically sits in your vault for just <laughs> collection purposes. So let's take a look at what this thing's rocking with. We're looking at the kinetic damage, meaning it's not arc void or anything like that. Skip the first two for the most part. You're going to want to go for the aggressive ballistics. You're going to want this thing to hit harder for PvP. Glass halfle, which many of you guys should know what that is by now. Quick draw, say skip on. Stability is a good thing with fitted stock. Ah. Also, field scout is nice to have. It's my personal preference. And volatile light, rounds fired from this weapon over penetrate and ricochet on hard surfaces. And I just realized why it's called hard light now. Because <laughs> it ricochets on hard surfaces. Because I'm like, how the hell can light be hard? I know who is, though. So, I like this gun. I absolutely do enjoy using this weapon. But it is one of those fun-to-use guns. It's not a gun that you're going to want to use to give yourself an advantage. In terms of time to kill, things like last words, thorns, most hand cannons are going to dominate this weapon. And in a game where fusion rifles and shotguns dominate close quarters, this gun has a very limited area for it to blossom. So... Take it on maps that you can get those pileups. That armor penetration is great. You need to be able to over-penetrate, which is nice. Uh, that's great when you're dealing with lots of characters. Now, I prefer to use it on maps like this. Something like Twilight Gap is solid because this thing is a medium-range, close-range weapon. Um, I, other good maps would be something like Firebase Delphi, so on and so forth. And those are the maps you're going to want to work with. Those are the ones where you're going to want them to cluster up, form an orderly line, and you're just going to over-penetrate them. It's going to be great. You're going to love this gun. As you can see right there, it can perform quite well. You also saw that it did 22 precision damage right there. I believe it does 18 base, making this thing one of those guns that you should pretty much go just for the chest with. You want to connect your shots versus having to make sure you hit those precision hits because 18 is pretty high for just a base body shot. Now, when it does get to the glass half full, which is the last half of the magazine i think it only boofs it up a little bit i think it's one damage actually i think precision shots count for 23 and that's not really the biggest influence in the world so honestly i'd say go with the safety stability is great depending on how confident you are the one drawback of this weapon is the spread the recoil the bounce and hop behind shooting this weapon has got to be the most challenging aspect of this weapon that's what scares so many people away from it and that's why i say you're going to want more ammunition for it you can confidently kill two people without worrying about wasting a few shots or anything like that with this weapon when you have the 56 shots from the field scout attachment so personally, that's how I always use this weapon. If I use this weapon, I'm using it in that fashion right there. Stability matters, but you do not lose too much stability from equipping Field Scout. It's going to be hard to use even with max stability, just being completely honest with you guys. I just survived a fusion rifle. <laughs> Woohoo, I'm lucky. So, with that being said, how does this thing perform in PvE? Oh, I'll tell you. Shh, shh, calm down. This thing is actually not half bad in PV. Again, you do not have the void arc or solar damage that you're going to want out of something that you can find so easily out of scout rifles, which are dominating that area right now. But, to be honest, this thing has its value in certain areas where just creatures cluster up. Things like Thrall. So, like the first part of the Crota Raid, when you're running it on hard and you're dealing with the lamp phase, this gun has some value with that over-penetration, and this thing has 56 shots with Field Scout on. So, when you're dealing with massive, weak creatures, you know, just... Tons of them piling up like Thralls as a perfect example. This gun really does have some value behind it. In all situations, not so much. Are you going to want to take this to fight down a boss? Probably not. But leading up to then, it's not a half bad weapon to actually align yourself with. So that's how I feel right now. Again, you just saw right there where that precision shot did 23. You can see the base shots were still doing 18. So the glass half full is almost a useless perk for PvP. I don't know. I just feel like it needs a little bit of a buff. That thing needs to be doing about 25 or so for precision and at least 19 for base. It needs to make sure the glass half full actually has value behind it. So again, it's kind of a wasted perk on this weapon, but that's how I feel about it. Thank you guys for your time. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. Fist of Havoc, that bad boy. And I will catch you guys with another video coming up soon. Thank you guys for your time. Go out there and have fun with this gun. Again, it's great to use. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it does look pretty sexy, right? And that counts for something. It shoots blue bullets. Hmm.